is Hidayah? I'm waiting for her. Where are you? Let me try and call her. We're going to have a picnic. Um, hi, Nip. Oh, hi, hi Hidayah. Hi. Mm. So, we're here. Are we ready for our picnic? We are having our picnic here? Yeah, in the park. Mm, but I'm not so sure. I don't feel mm. comfortable here. Oh, why not? Mm. You oh. can smell something yeah. not good here. It's quite dirty. Yeah, actually it's quite smelly. There's so much rubbish here. Yeah. Oh, this is really making me angry. So, mm. what should we do? Yeah, I think we should lodge a complaint to the authorities. Yes. Uh, so, then? I, perhaps we should write a letter? Yeah, most probably. Okay, um, let's go and write a letter. But do you know how to write a letter? Mm. <laughs> KPM. We are going for a picnic. Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. You are now watching Didik TV KPM in the upper secondary slot. And my name is Hanif Sean. I'm sure you're excited to learn together. Are we really going for a picnic? I'm not too sure. I will let our teacher reveal after this. And of course, we are going to learn English together. One of my favourite subjects, definitely. And I'm sure you enjoy English as well. And for us to know who is our teacher today, let's take a look at her profile. And there you go, you have seen our teacher's profile today. But before I introduce her, we also have our sign language interpreter, which is Teacher Colina. How are you, Teacher Colina? Are you ready to join us for a picnic today? Uh, there it is. She's also super excited to be with us. And of course, with me is Teacher Hidayah. How are you, Teacher Hidayah? Alhamdulillah. Hi, honey. Hi. I think we're so excited, Teacher Hidayah. Yes. I'm really excited to know what we're going to learn. But then again, it's not just the three of us yeah. today. We also have four pupils online. Yes. Hello, everyone. Can you wave at us here? Hi. There you go. So we have four pupils joining us online. And Teacher yes. Hidayah, if you can yeah. introduce your pupils to us. Yes, we have four wonderful pupils here. And we have the first one. Atia, hi Atia, and then we have Ain, hi Ain. The third one we have Alpha, Alpha, and last but not least we have Shahira. Hi Shahira. There they are, our four beautiful pupils. They're all so excited to learn together English and Teacher Hidayah. So we just came back from the picnic. Yeah. And there was so much rubbish. Yes. Is what what is that going what is that got to do with our topic today? Yes, most today for the lesson for today we are talking about our mother nature. So the theme is health and environment. So we are talking about our environment and obviously this is form 4 syllabus. And uh, for the teacher's reference this is lesson 92. Okay? All right, that's very interesting. Health and the environment. Yeah. Two very key topics. Yes. So, shall we start with our lesson? Yes. yes. Let's Everyone do it. ready? Yes. Okay, so what do you think? Look at this picture first. So, the pupils out there, so what do you think about this picture? Well, there are a lot of rubbish, right? Hmm. So, maybe you have think something inside your mind there. And then, read and think this one. Litter is the number one problem in our city. The streets are overflowing with rubbish. So, whose responsibility is to keep the city clean? Hmm. Hmm. I wonder. It's always the other person's responsibility, oh. is it not? <laughs> okay, so hmm. what we have to do now is we need to brainstorm for the ideas. Okay, what I mean here, we need to use a mind map. Mm, it's quite interesting, right? So this is one of the 
Ah, the pattern of uh, my map. And what is my map? It is an easy way to brainstorm our thoughts without the need to worry about the structure and order. So it allows us to visually structure our ideas to help with recall and writing. So it's quite interesting, right? It is, yeah. definitely. Let's us try with our pupils. Huh. So you guys out there, are you guys ready? So we try the first one. Sources of litter. Eh, hmm. eh, oh. Shaira? Okay, I'll give you the first one. That Shaira, was, wait, wait. That was very, very quick. Yes. <laughs> okay, the first one. One of the sources of litter is because of irresponsible drivers. So I think someone already, yeah, can't wait to answer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, Shahira, would you like to answer the first point? May I, teacher? Yes, 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 please. Pedestrian. Pedestrian. Oh, wow. Let's take a look. Good. Okay. Okay. Who wants to try the second one? Ah. Oh, yes, Alpha. Yes, please. Ah, what is your answer, Alpha? Ah. Not enough rubbish bin. Not enough rubbish bin. Not enough okay. rubbish bins. Interesting. Wow. Great. Okay. The third one. What's your opinion? Okay, Ain. Would you like to try? Laziness. Laziness. Laziness okay. is the cause of a lot of problems. Yes. Not just more rubbish. <laughs> and last but not least, Atia, would you like to try? Carelessness. Carelessness, ah. yes. Because everyone feel that this is not my responsibility. Mm. So, so all of these are the sources of litter. Why there are a lot of rubbish is because of maybe some of the reason are because of this. Mm. Okay. How about we try another subtopic? Okay. Consequences. What happens when we have a lot of rubbish on the street? Ha. Ah, I know. <laughs> we we can we can go for a picnic. <laughs> yes, that's true. So we can't go for a picnic then. So how about we ask the pupils online? Ah. So who wants to try first? Okay, Atia. Okay, Atia. What's your opinion? Um, you have to turn your mic on, Atia. Thank you. Not able to enjoy parts. <laughs> oh, we're thinking yes. along the same line, Atia. I like that. We can enjoy so, parks. Oh yes. You are unable to enjoy the parks. Good job. Okay, who wants to try next? Ain? Yes. Bad smell. Bad smell. Mm. Yeah, just like just now. True, true. Mm. Malodorous. You Very feel smelly. uncomfortable with the situation, right? The surrounding. Okay, next one. Okay, Alpha. Uh, May you we have your mic see? on, Alpha? <laughs> Dear to animals and people's health. Oh, okay. So, danger to people's and animals. Yes. Ah, interesting. Yes. Interesting. Last but not least, who... Okay, Shahira. Shahira. What is your answer, Shahira? Yes. Pollution. 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 Yes. We have water pollution, maybe. Yeah. Air pollution. Air pollution, yes. And, mm. okay, we have all that consequences. Maybe we need to think of the solution of this problem. Okay, who wants to try? Okay, quick one. Quick one. Okay, Alpha, what's your answer? Strict fines for um, to people who drop litter. Oh, strict fines. Very Find good. Them. Yes. Right, right. Law enforcement, maybe, right? Oh, okay. Okay, number two. I encourage recycling. Sorry? Oh, recycling. That's a very good idea. Yes. Very good idea. Encourage recycling. The third one. Okay, Shahira. Environmental awareness education. Ooh, wow. wow. Sustainability. Mm. I like that. I like that. Very good one. Last but not least. Yes, Atia. Additional rubbish bin. Additional rubbish bin. Mm. Good job. Okay, so overall, 
um, when you want to write something, so you need to get ready. One of the way is for you to brainstorm for the idea. Ah, that's interesting, right? Yes, it is. It is very interesting, and I think uh, our pupils give really good answers. Don't yes. you think, Teacher Hidayah? Yes. Yeah, they give really good answers, and I think that mind map would really help us in a you know, form of writing or understanding and even to remember yes. points. It will make it easier for us yes. to remember. It will help you and guide you to write later on. Ah, ah, so that's where we're heading right now. <laughs> yes. And we're going to take a short break to not go anywhere. We have so much more to share with you. Tichi Hidai has so much more to share with you. Continue to stay tuned with us on D-Date TV KPM. Hi, I am Amira Najah from Sambagantra. Let's talk about plastic. Plastic use polymer as a main ingredient. It is estimated that by 2015, global plastic production will reach over 1,100 million tons. Plastic debris and chemicals can injure or poison wildlife. So, we need to improve waste management systems and recycling. Let's take action! KPM. Hello everyone, you are now watching Didi TV KPM in the upper secondary slot and definitely we are learning English. And I love today's topic in English because we are learning about Mother Nature. We're going to talk about the environment and with us is of course Teacher Hidayah. Teacher Hidayah, what are we going to learn further about Mother Nature right now? Yes, yeah, so for this segment, we will get to know about the important points. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. It's very, I think it's very yeah. important to know about <laughs> the important points. <laughs> yes. Okay, so um, on your screen, we have an article, a newspaper article about something. So let me read for you. Okay, for the first one. Yesterday, the mayor of Mayfield announced plans to build a modern shopping centre in Clifton Park. It says it will serve the needs of the residents and also attract shoppers from neighbouring towns. Many people are not happy with this decision. Mm. Mm. Hanif, yes, did can you, you help me to continue reading? Sure. Yeah. Let me start the second paragraph. Okay. One resident, Mark Wilson, told us, we don't need a shopping centre. So many trees will be cut down if the mayor goes ahead with his plans. Clifton Park give us, gives us the oxygen we breathe. Mm. And it's where our children go to play. We need to save it at all costs. Mm. Oh, he sounds very firm yes. in his points. <laughs> Something happened. Something oh. happened, right? So, uh, for those out there, you can refer this article from our textbook, Full Blast Plus, uh, sorry, Full Blast uh, Plus Four textbook in page 108. Okay, so basically, this is a newspaper article that expressing, ah, expressing about their um, manners about something, right? Mm, ah. True. But true. when we want to express our feelings, opinion, and thoughts, we need to we need to write or we need to express them in a proper way. In a proper way. Yes. Yeah, so this is the continuation of the article. So this person write a letter to um, to the um, newspaper to article. Mm. Oh, okay. So how about we ask our pupils online to read for us, shall we? Right. Sure. Ah, oh, okay. Who would like to start? Yes. Who would like to start first? Oh, okay. Quite fast. Ain. Dear sir or madam, mm -hmm. I am concerned resident and I am writing in response to your article about the mayor's plan to build a modern shopping centre in Clifton Park. Mm -hmm. Good job. Mm. Can we give her one? Oh yes, as we a should reward, reward her. Yes. So okay. I mean, you're getting one <laughs> little candy here. Yeah. There you go. In okay, your box. who wants to try the second paragraph? Oh, okay, Shahira. Yes, please. First of all, 
I must agree with the mayor that the shopping center will be very convenient for everybody. Mm -hmm. In addition to creating more job opportunities, it will also offer us more options for entertainment. Okay. Who would say no to a cinema complex or a food court with different cuisines, for instance? Oh, great. You're making me hungry here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one for Shahira. One for Shahira. Okay, who wants Shahira? to try? I'm yeah. getting one candy there. <laughs> who wants to try the third one? Oh, okay, Atiya. Yes, please. On the other hand, it is outrageous to even think of destroying Clifton Park. I'm very I'm very disappointed that the mayor shows such a lack of sensitivity or for environmental issues. Air pollution is a growing problem in Mayfield and as Minister Wilson points out, Clifton Park must be saved at all costs. Truly, a more suitable location can be found for the shopping centre. For example, the abandoned warehouse behind the train station. Okay. Good job. Mm. Great one. So, one for Atia. One for Atia. <laughs> okay, I'm going to rearrange this. <laughs> yes. Atia gets one candy there. Yes, last but not least. Alpha, would you like Al to try? Yes, Alpha. Alpha. In conclusion, we do not need to destroy Clifton Park in order to build a new shopping centre. If we consider the alternative solution more carefully, we can find one that is acceptable to everyone in Mayfield. Yes. You face fully Paula Woodhouse. Okay, good job, Alpha. One for Alpha. One for Alpha as well. Yes. Well done. All of them got a candy. <laughs> yes. So, this is um, this is one of the way how you can express your dissatisfaction about something. So, please don't simply just get angry with someone or something. You need to follow the right way. Okay. So let us continue. Let's answer this. So, have you read? Any of these letter, girls? Yes or no? Mm -hmm. Oh yes. Okay, good. Okay, next question. Why do you think people write letters to the editors of the newspaper and magazines? Hmm. Mm. Why do you think? Why? Okay, anyone? Oh, okay, Atia. Yeah. Okay. What's your answer? Share with me. To express their opinion and comment on various issues. Oh. To express their opinions and, and comments on various issues. Very wow. Interesting. Good job. Very okay. We should give one to Atia because one of Atiyah. her effort answering right. to the question. So no, Very has, good. We have two candies. <laughs> okay. The next question. Would you consider writing a letter to the editor of a newspaper? Why or why not? Hmm. Anyone? Which, who would like to try? Okay, Ayn. Hmm. Yes, I will write the letter because I can express my opinion to fight the right. Wow. So, you want to fight for the right. Hmm. Yes, that's why we need to express our opinion in a proper way. Yes. Okay. Right. Ayn sounds like an advocate of something. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So, let us continue with the next one. Teacher Hidayah, yeah. does Ayn deserve a candy? Yeah, sure. Okay. You can so get one. One candy for a good answer from Ayn. <laughs> yes, congratulations. Okay, so let us continue. Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> okay, read the following sentences. Take the ones that apply to the letter. Okay, just now, we already okay, read, oh, sorry, read the letter right. So, um, we have something and we want our pupils to think whether it is right or wrong. Mm. Mm. Okay. okay, so for those out there, you can refer to our textbook, page 108. Okay, don't forget. <laughs> okay, so <clears throat> let us look at the first one. Okay, this one uses an appropriate greeting and signature ending. Okay, uses an appropriate greeting and signature ending. Okay, I'll take two questions, can we? Okay, number two explains why she is writing in the first 
paragraph. Okay, so who wants to try whether it is right or wrong? Uh, <clears throat> anyone? Oh, Alpha, yes. You want to try the first and the second one? Okay, we try the first one first. Okay, for the first one. For the first one, um, it use an appropriate greeting and signature ending. Okay. Such as, dear, sir or madam. Okay. And your faithfully. Oh, oh, great. That's very appropriate. Yes. So, Hanif, can you help me to right. stick the answer? So it says here, yes. uses an appropriate greeting and signature ending. Yes, Do it should be on the top ship? one. Right. Yes, so, good job, Alpha. Because it says here, yes. dear sir or madam. Madam, yes. Right. Appropriate uh, greeting and also at the end, the, man, uh, the letter mentioned yours faithfully, Paula Woodhouse. Okay, so number two, Alpha. What's your answer? Yes. Uh -huh. Because um, it mentioned in paragraph one, I am writing in response to your article about the mayor's plan to build a modern shopping centre in Clifton Park. Okay, so she did mention the reason why she is writing the letter. Good one. Okay, where is it? In the first paragraph. In the first paragraph. Yes. Can I put it here? Did you Good there? job. Right. Yes, correct, honey. Thank so you. This one it says explains why she is writing in the yes. first paragraph. Okay. Ah, good job. The so objective. We should give Alpha some reward. Maybe right. two. Two. Yeah. Okay. Because two, two candies. questions. Two candies for you, Alpha. Yay. There you go. Okay. We'll take a look on the third one. Uses root language. Hmm. And the fourth one, justify her opinion and give example. Hmm, who wants to try number three and number four? Okay, Atia. Okay, Atia. Number three first. For number three, hmm? is a no. She uses polite word language. Ah. She makes her opinion. Oh, hmm. so this one, yes or no? Number no. three, no. Because it's mentioned uses root language. So, mm. no, no. A big no, right? So, put it away. <laughs> okay, I've already hidden that. Thank you, honey. Yes. Okay, how about number four? Uh, for number four, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. She mentioned her opinion in paragraph three. Ah, so she justify her opinion and give example in paragraph three. Oh. She, I am very. Can you tell me uh, in which line? Uh, I am. For the example. Mm -hmm. Okay. The abandoned warehouse behind this train station. Oh, okay. The last line. Okay, good job. So she give example. The keyword here is for example. The last line on the third paragraph. Last line on the third paragraph. Uh, for example. One, two, three. Uh, for and example, second last. There you go. Yeah, good <laughs> <Sorry>. job, honey. <laughs> For example, the abandoned warehouses ah. behind the train station. Yes. Okay, so I will put this here. Yes, Did correct. You know okay. Good job. So, well Atia, done. you can get two candies. All right, I'm giving Atia two candies yeah. here. Yeah, thank you, honey. And there you go. So, you have four okay. now. So, we look on number five. Uses rhetorical questions for emphasizing and number six refers to specific points made in the newspaper article hmm so who wants to try okay Shahira yes please uh, you need to turn on your <laughs> number five uh -huh. the answer is yes yes there is an example in paragraph two which is who will say no to a cinema complex or a food court with different cuisines, for instance? Uh-huh. Okay, that one for number two in paragraph two. Yes, you get it. Wow. <laughs> okay, so that one is for number five. Number five. Good. Do okay, I taste Hanif, it you... now? Yeah. Okay, so this one goes here. Okay, thank you, Hanif. Right. And the last one refers to specific points. So, the answer is? The answer is yes. Yes. In, pa in paragraph two, okay. there is an example, which is, I must agree with the mayor that a shopping centre will be very oh. convenient for everyone. 
Okay, good job. Okay, you can stick to the answers. So this one goes here. Yes. Point number six refers to specific points made in the newspaper article. Thank you. Right. So Shahira managed to get two candies. Two candies for Shahira. Okay. Shahira, where are you? Shahira, Shahira. Okay, <laughs> got it. Okay, number seven and eight expresses her opinion in an aggressive manner. And number eight, makes suggestions. Oh, hmm. so who wants to try? Okay, Ayn. Okay, Ayn. Yes, please. For the number five. Okay. Eh? Eh? Number Sorry, seven. seven. <laughs> okay. No. No. Because she mentioned it in a polite way. Ah, hmm. so we don't have to stick on number seven. So put it away. No, no, no. Put it away. There you go. <laughs> and the last one, number eight. So? Make suggestions. Make suggestions. Yes. In mm -hmm. paragraph three, mm -hmm. the sentence is, surely a most suitable location can be found for the shopping center. For example, the abandoned warehouses behind the train station. Oh, okay. The sentence before number four, right? This one. Oh, good job. Surely a more suitable location. Okay. Ah, so true. I will try and... <laughs> Sorry, yes. I'm going to paste it over there. Okay, are you okay, to, <laughs> Referring to this sentence, okay? Ah, yes. Make a, Thank you. Make I think you can be a good teacher. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> okay, how about the last one? Uses linking words or phrases and writes in formal style. How about we try it together? Okay. Okay, because yeah. our kids already try their best. How yes. about we try? Okay. Uses linking, Uses words, linking or words or phrases. Hmm. Could it be? Okay, we'll take a look at the second paragraph. Second okay. paragraph. Okay. The the letter mentioned first of all. First of all. Yes, that is. A linking, linking. phrase. Yes, ah, good. Linking phrase. So may I paste it there? Yes. Okay. 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 Last but not least. And, oops, writes, it's a bit covered, but it says first of all okay. there. And last one that says write in, in a formal style. style. So overall, I think we need to write it that in a formal way. In a formal way. Yes. So it should cover the whole letter. Yeah. May I paste it up here then? Yes. Writes in a formal style. Wow. Great job. Well done. Well done to all our pupils. Yeah. I think they all have gotten their candies here. Yes. So, and good job to all of you. And, and continue to learn about writing this letter and understand the points. Yes. I believe they are very key to have in a letter. Yeah. And we're going to take a short break. While well, we take a short break, continue to ponder and remember how do we write this very important letter. Do not go anywhere. Stay tuned with us on d TV KPM. KPM. My dear friend, how are you? I'm doing fine here. And oh, hello everyone. You're now watching Didi TV KPM on the upper secondary school slot, and we are learning together English. And I was just writing a letter because today our teacher, Teacher Hidaya, she's teaching us how to write a letter. And now we're going to write a letter to a newspaper editor. Are we going to do that, Teacher Hidayah? Mm, yes. Ah, mm. this is a very important task. <laughs> okay, shall we continue the lesson? Let's start. Yes, let's go. So, for this one, a letter to a newspaper editor. Ah, okay, so before that, let me share with you about the writing subscale. So, this is quite important because everyone are preparing themselves for the examination, right? So, we have to touch a bit about this so you guys manage uh, and will be able to answer properly according to the needs of the um, examination. Okay, for the first one is content. So, all content should be relevant to the task. What? What is it? It is uh, answering all the questions appropriately 
and it should be relevant to the task. Okay, for example, in the question, it has keywords like sources of letters, consequences, and solutions. So we have to use all these keywords in our writing for us to get mark. Okay, so that's all for content. Let's move on to our second one, which is communicative achievement, which is CA. So CA is communicative achievement, and what it means here is straightforward ideas. When you write something, so you the idea should be straightforward. Ah, uh, don't write flowery words or something that is improper to the uh, right uh, to the letter or something that you to the convert. Uh, sorry, to the essay. And appropriateness of the writing given in the communicative task. What I mean here is the genre and the register is used for the given task. So uh, if you are writing the letter to the editor, it should be in formal way. You cannot write, dear friend, or um, <laughs> hi, editor. So it is improper, right? So you have to uh, make sure the style and the genre is suitable for your writing or the format. OK, number three is the organization. So we have to make sure that you write in well-organized and well-paragraphed essay. <clears throat> variety, the second point, variety of cohesive devices to link the ideas across sentences and also paragraph. So cohesive devices. So I give you some examples here. The mm. first one, fan boys. Have you ever heard of this? Fan boys? Mm -hmm. Ah, oh. Okay, so let me share with you. What is that? Yeah. <laughs> it is actually the conjunction. Conjunction. Okay, so I'll give you F for for, A for and, N for nor, B for but, or for or, Y for yet, and last but not least is S for so. Oh, that's, ah, that's so, so easy to remember ah, now. It's easy, right? Okay, so when we want to write our essay, we have to make sure that we use the cohesive devices. That is the first one. The second one is, ha, ah, I think everyone knows this, right? So we have to use, um, this is some of the examples. So you can, um, yeah, maybe some, uh, teach, your teacher already taught you some Maybe maybe um, a lot more than this one, so you can use that. Okay, so these are some of the examples. Firstly, secondly, next, then, moreover, all these we call as sequence connectors. Ah, so make sure that we need to use all these in our essay. And last but not least, for example, so when we want to use. Um, or giving examples or describing something. So we can use, for example, like, such as, uh, and many more. Mm. To illustrate. Yes, ah, to illustrate. Good one. <laughs> OK, and the last one is under language. So make sure that you use suitable vocabulary. When we are talking about Mother Nature, for instance, we need to use proper one like pollution. Um, green, um, recycle. If we are talking about Mother Nature, but we are talking about birthday cake, party, <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's improper, right? <laughs> okay, the second one, simple and some complex grammatical forms. So we need to have a good degree of control when we want to write. So make sure that our sentence structure is correct and also the grammatical forms. I know it's quite tough, but you need to learn more from your teacher. Okay, last but not least, errors do not impede communication. Yeah, people do make mistakes, right? So don't worry if you make mistake, but make sure that your writing or your errors will not disturb the whole idea. Okay, so that's all for the writing subscale. So let us move on to our task. Ha! Huh. <laughs> Take a look here. Litter is the number one problem in our city. The streets are overflowing with rubbish. Hmm. Not a good one, right? Mm. I can imagine the smell. Eh? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, let's move on. So, write a letter to the editor of the newspaper 
expressing your views on the issue described. So this is the task that our pupils and the pupils out there to try and write something to express your opinion and thoughts. Okay. So before that, huh. uh, I will need to give you uh, this is the mind map that maybe will help you to write better. Okay, I'll read for you. For the first one, we have sources of litter. So, what are, uh, who did that? So, obviously, maybe because of the irresponsible drivers. Maybe because of the laziness. Mm. Maybe because of their callousness. Okay. Hmm. Quite bad, right? <laughs> Very bad, I think. Okay. For the consequences, so we have bad smell, mm. danger to people's and animals' health, and also pollution. Hmm. Okay. And the last one for a solution. So maybe we can do strict fines for people who drop the litter. Um, and we need to encourage recycling or maybe environmental awareness education. So don't worry if you did not get all this idea. It's already in our textbook, page 109. Okay, so always refer to your textbook. So kids, are you ready to write? <laughs> okay, are you so ready? Oh, they're all nodding. <laughs> yeah. There. Yes. I'm sure people at home as well are excited. Make sure you have your pen and paper. Okay. And are we going to start writing now? Yeah. <laughs> but we, we give them some time. Great. So I will share with you some tips about our letter. Right. Okay. So for the first one, while they are writing, so maybe you can listen to me and I'll show you about the planning of the letter. Okay, the first one is greeting. So make sure that we have to use a formal greeting. So we have to use dear sir or madam or dear editor. So we cannot simply write, hi my love. <laughs> <laughs> it's improper. So you need to write the proper one. Okay, that one is for the greeting. <clears throat> Afterwards, um, the opening paragraph. So say about why you want to write the letter. Okay, the reason, um, uh, the reason why you write the letter, right? So if you are writing in response to the article, so refer to the topic or the title of it. So if it's mentioned about um, uh, the environment, something, something, so you have to mention about the topic or the title of the article. Okay, this, the next one is main part. So it means the body of the the letter. So you can write around one or two paragraphs. So focus on one or two aspects of the issue or the problem. So I know you feel dissatisfied with the situation and surroundings. So don't just, just simply write or uh, express every single thing. You just need to focus on one or two problems only. Okay? Clear? <laughs> okay, then give your opinion and provide justification and example. Okay? make any relevant situation. So when we face any uh, problem or issue, we need to give some suggestion on how to solve the problem or reduce the problem. Huh. Okay, so for closing paragraph, summarize your points and end your letter politely. So don't use aggressive languages or rude languages. It's improper. We are human beings. We love to read something that is good too. Uh, yeah, something that is good, something that is nice, so we can take action on uh, what the issues happen. Okay. Last but not least is signing off. Use an appropriate signature ending. For example, yours faithfully. Make sure the spelling is correct. Yes, that is true. <laughs> yeah. Ah, so recheck if you write yours faithfully. Make sure you recheck the spelling. And last, sign underneath and print your full name below the signature. And then you sign and make sure you write your full name under the signature. So that's all the tips for planning your letter. So I think... Wow, those are really useful tips here, Teacher Hida, yeah? <laughs> yes. Okay, so I think they are ready now. Huh. Oh. So we have, do we have the letters ready? Oh. Our friends online? Oh, maybe they... Um, maybe they just write one or two points 
Okay, well, so point. it's okay. enough actually uh, for the lesson for today. Ah. Okay, so get ready for the pupil sponsor. Okay, who wants to try first? Who would like to show their first letter? Ah, the first person to show letter. I see someone raising her hand. Uh huh. Is it Shahira? I think it's. Yeah, Shahira. Right. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Okay, Shahira. Okay, please read your answer. Firstly, uh -huh. pollution caused by the garbage can greatly harm the environment. Okay. The oh. alternative okay. should find the people who drop litter strictly and make an example out of them to prevent this oh. event from happening again. Okay, so. Oh. Okay, so that's good one actually. Um, Shahira managed to use um, rubbish, really harm the environment, and authorities should find anyone who dropped the litter. Right. Ah, oh, she managed to use two points here, which is very good, and she able to use the sequence connectors, which is. First and foremost. and foremost. So, what Shahira can improve here is maybe she can add on examples ah, to, to get more explanation and details about the issue or the problem. Can Shahira wow. get one candy for so her Shahira effort? Shahira is going to get one candy. Yeah. If she has an example, she might get another candy. Yeah. But it's okay, we are all learning here. Yes. So, one candy for you, Shahira. Don't stop learning. Okay, so the next one. Okay, the next one is Ayn. And Ayn, okay, let's hear Ayn's letter. After that, lazy to throw your litter in the rubbish bin can be the biggest source of litter. Furthermore, carelessness in taking care of our environment is like heading towards the destruction of the earth. Wow. Oh, okay. Good job. Wow. That's a good try. So she tried after that for sequence connectors and also furthermore. Hmm. Should I get one? I will get one candy. Yes. Okay. For so her one effort. candy for our environment advocate. Wow. Because <laughs> uh, she said destruction of the earth. Oh, oh yes. I can feel the passion. Ah. <laughs> Good job, Ain. Okay, let's try the third one. Okay, Atia. Atia, let's hear your answer. Okay, we'll see what Atia has written. Mm -hmm. The consequence of mm -hmm. consequences if we not take care of our environment is yes. it can cause bad smell. Mm. For the solution, we should give environmental awareness education to the public. Okay. As a result. Individuals will develop a deeper understanding of environmental <laughs> issues. Okay, good job. Good job, good job. Take your time. No okay. worries. Okay, so one candy for her effort. One wow. candy for Atiyah's effort. Yes. There what you uh, go. Atiyah can improve here is okay. Uh, maybe at the beginning of the. Uh, letter, she can uh, write a sequ uh, sequence connectors. Maybe she can use max. Uh, one of the consequences. Ah, that's better. Okay, so uh, good job. Um, and one more for the solution. So maybe she can mention about some ways that, uh, or one of the way that we should give is environmental awareness uh, education. To the public, ah, that's better. Okay, but good job. Okay, don't stop learning. Okay. Well done, Atia. Yes, practice makes improvement. Good job. Okay, last but not least, we have Alpha. Wow, Alpha. this one's quite long, Alpha. Last but not least, mm -hmm. the litter came from the irresponsible drivers who throw the rubbish out from the window without thinking about the consequences of their actions. Mm -hmm. Then. Toxic chemicals in the trash may also contaminate water system. Uh -huh. That can be dangerous. That can be danger to people's and animals' health if unclean or untreated water is consumed. Oh, 
bouquet, mm. <laughs> quite detailed, which is very good. Can we give one for Alpha's effort? One for Alpha's effort. Yes. And there you go, one good candy in your job. box. Wow. <laughs> but this is a reminder for everyone. Um, if we can see here, the litter came from the irresponsible driver who threw the rubbish. It's supposed to be who threw the rubbish. It's supposed to be past 10, right? Uh, but don't, don't worry. Yes, practice makes improvement, okay? Exactly. For those out there, don't stop learning. Okay, so overall, our pupils already share with us two points about um, the issues and some of them giving solution on how to solve the problem, right? Oh, any one of you would like to share about your opinion and thoughts about this segment? Huh. Okay, any one of you would like, like to, to share? Try first? Yes. Do we see any raise of hands? <laughs> so. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay, ah. Atia. Okay, Atia. Oh. She nervous. She's quite nervous. Eh? <laughs> okay. I believe if we clean up the rubbish and throw pick up and throw and pick up the rubbish and throw into the rubbish bin. Okay, so the responsibility is right. So you said about uh, people should be more responsible towards her or his surroundings, right? Oh, that is that's a very good great. answer. I, think I fully agree to that. And we are going to take hmm. a short break right now, oh, Teacher really? Hidayah. Oh. But before we take a short break, can I finish the letter? Ah, yeah. I'll finish the letter with mm. yours faithfully signed, <laughs> Hanif Sean. Do not go anywhere. Stay tuned with us on d TV KPM. KPM. Hello everyone, you are now watching d -Date TV KPM. We are in the upper secondary slot right now. And of course, we are learning English. One of my favourite subjects definitely. And our topic today is about Mother Nature. And Teacher Hidayah is here with us. Yeah. Who has been talking to us about Mother Nature. And now, mm. are we going to be concerned teenagers? Mm. I feel young now. <laughs> uh. Okay, so everybody, so we will continue our lesson with this one. Ah, that's okay. me. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah? That's a girl. Sorry, but I feel like a teenager right now. Yeah, <laughs> me too. Right. <laughs> okay, so the, uh, for this segment, we will need our pupils to speak a bit about something. So, are you guys ready? Okay, yeah. <laughs> so let us take a look at this one. Hmm, hmm. it's quite dirty, right? Oh, uh, <laughs> it looks quite filthy there. <laughs> oh dear. Oh my God. Okay, so as a concerned teenager, what do you think can be done about this one, about this picture? Okay. So, before that, I will share with you some phrases that you can use. Okay, you can use, I believe, I think, in my opinion, I feel that, personally, I would prefer to. So, all these you can use in the beginning of your sentences. Okay, so, shall we? Yes. Oh, are yeah. people online ready? Yes. And yes. So people at home are also ready. Ah. Okay. So let's all be concerned. Tell yes. Yes. Who wants to try first? Hmm. Oh. And do we have a volunteer? Yeah. Anyone who wants to start first? Oh, Shahira. Okay. <laughs> okay. What's your answer, Shahira? What's your opinion about our issue here? I believe yeah. that we should find irresponsible people 
for dropping garbage everywhere. Oh, hmm. she said the authorities maybe should find people who are dropping this rubbish. Hmm. Hmm. That's a good one, Shahira. Good point. Okay. Or oh, maybe well, we then, can give Shahira her two. Two candies because for Shahira. Of her good effort then. For having expressed her strong <laughs> yeah. opinion. Good okay. Job. The second one. Uh, who wants to try next? Okay, I We have a volunteer. Yeah. I, I think fine. we can complain to authority to add more rubbish bins so we can throw bins at it. In it. I mean. Mm. <laughs> okay, so we need more rubbish bins. Oh, because, yeah, as we can see here, it's only two. So there are a lot of rubbish around there. So maybe there not enough space, so mm. they just put it around there, right? Mm. So, good one. So the authorities maybe can add more rubbish bin. Mm. Good job. More rubbish so bin. So two for Ayn. And more candies for you, Ayn. <laughs> two for Ayn. There you go. So two candies in your box. Yes. Okay, the third one. Who wants to try? Okay, <laughs> Alpha. Uh, let's listen to our next environment advocate. <laughs> In my opinion, mm -hmm. we should spread the awareness about the consequences of the rubbish to us and animals. Oh, spread the awareness. Wow, good mm. job. Spread the awareness. Mm. So maybe they can have campaign. Yeah. Maybe at school, yeah, our school maybe can do something about this. So we can spread the awareness among the pupils. Good job. Good job. Well done. And I think Ayn has something in mind. Brewing to start. <laughs> um, before and... that, we should give Alpha too? Oh, Alpha. Uh -huh, Sorry, it yes. wasn't Ayn. It was Alpha. Okay. <laughs> so I'm sure Alpha is brewing in her mind about an environment campaign. Yes. So two candies Thank you, for Hanif. you. Good job. Okay, so last sorry, but not least. It's okay. She looks fine there. <laughs> okay, last but not least. <laughs> oh, okay, I think, yeah. I think we should clean up our place and ask our friends to do it for everyone. Sorry, Atia, um, uh, can you repeat the answer? We should clean up our place. Oh, okay, mm. so you'll be the volunteer, isn't it? Oh, good one! Yeah, so you are the one who volunteer to clean all the mess. Wow. That's a very, very noble intention. And you should um, ask your friend to help you. Don't do it alone, OK? <laughs> yes, that is true. That and is true. don't forget to ask the permission from your parents. <laughs> ah. OK, can so, we give Alpha how many? There would be Atiyah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yes, Atiyah. Should we give her two? Two for Atiya. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Good wow. job, everybody. So, ah, uh, <clears throat> uh, this one. So, when you want to start a conversation or start uh, a speaking uh, session to give the uh, opinion and idea, so you can use all these phrases. I believe. I think. In my opinion, I feel that personally, I would prefer to in your sentences. So it will help you to start a good speaking um, activities. Okay? Okay, so last. Great. So as a summary, what do we have, Teacher Hidayah? Yeah. What we learned together <laughs> today. So overall, we are actually touching our learning standard, which is, which is um, writing 4.1.3 to explain the main points and idea or argument. And also for the speaking one, they um, explain and justify own point of view. So they already share their thoughts and opinions and they already express their um, opinion about uh, the issues for today. All right, that is superb. And of course, our pupils online, they did so well. I yes. do feel they did so well, but of course, we have to ask our expert here, <laughs> Teacher Hidayah, how do you think they perform overall? Yeah, they did very well. Good job, everybody. Give yourself a big round of applause. Well done to you. Well done to the pupils at home as well. And you know what? Yes. I, just, I just counted as well. Ayn has five candies. <laughs> Shaira okay. has six. Atiyah has seven candies. Uh -huh. And Alpha has... Uh, 
One, two, three, four, five, six. Six candies as well, and I have zero. So good oh. job to all of you. Good job to all of you. And Teacher Hiraya, our hmm. excellent pupils out there, they've been asking. Mm -hmm. We want to learn more. Yes. So where do they go to learn more? Yes, obviously, this is the additional resources that you can go. Okay? You can go to digital educational learning, which is the Lima. So this is the link. So you just need to type or just it's easier for you. Just type uh, on the search engine and go for the Lima. And also the other one is Sumberku. So go for it, okay? And Don't waste your time. Exactly. So you will see the link there of Sumberku on Teacher Hidayah's slide as well as it was on your screen just a moment ago. And go and serve those links because I'm sure you are hungry for more information. And with that, definitely, we would like to thank Teacher Hidayah for You're such welcome. an amazing lesson today, Thank for taking you. us to picnic, <laughs> for a picnic, you know, and always trying to take care of the environment. At the end yeah. of the day, I think that's the biggest value that we learn together. And of course, to our sign language interpreter, Teacher Colina. Teacher Colina, thank you so much as well. There you go, so she's waving <laughs> at us. And to all of you at home, continue to study, work hard, and make English easy. English is easy, isn't it, Teacher Hidaya? Yes, it need a lot of practice. A lot of practice, <laughs> definitely. And my name is Hanif Sean, and I hope to see you again. And do we have a, a bit of a poem at the end? Mm, yes. yes. <laughs> ah, we have a poem recital at the end. So continue to watch the poem recital, and I hope to see you again. Bye, everyone. Bye. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I am Siti Nonadira binti Muhammad Sharif from Sekolah Agama Menengah Bagatrap. Today, I'm going to recite a poem titled The Dead Crow. He saw a dead crow in a drink near the post office. He saw an old man gasping for air and a baby barely able to breathe in a crowded morning clinic. This land is so rich. Why should we suffer like this? I want clean air for my grandchildren. I want the damn fools to leave the forest alone. I want the trees to grow, the rivers run free, and the earth covered with grass. Let the politicians plan how we may live with dignity now and always. Thank you. TV KPM